<laughs> Hi everybody, good morning. Right, I'm not sure what's going on with this live. So I guess I was not supposed to talk about this topic today. So everybody knows I'm not really a morning person, but I really wanted to do this. Alright, so the last time I spoke of love, then I spoke of blindness, then I spoke of what was my last topic again? I don't even remember. But today I want to talk about cerebral palsy. Okay, guys? Alright, so y'all can participate. Hi, Miss Thomas. Big up yourself. Good morning, my love. Right, so you guys can feel free to participate. If you know anybody that has this condition, as I said, I choose topic that directly affects me. So if you know every topic that I do, love affects me. I don't know nothing about love out there. <laughs> uh, blindness affects me. Yes, cerebral palsy affects my son, so it affects me. And I know I have a lot of mothers whose kids are having or living, whose kids are living with cerebral palsy. So this is the topic for this morning. All right, so of course I'm going to choose 25 facts again. The 25 facts may end up being about 30 facts, but it's fine, okay? I hope you guys can learn something from it because I only seek to edify. And of course, if I can entertain some points, I, I definitely will do that. All right, so cerebral palsy is one of the things that has that has been affecting our kids for years and years and years so now I want to break it down so you understand the cause and the effects and everything of cerebral palsy right so the persons who can join now you can always feel free to join later or you can always watch the the, the, the clips all right oh <laughs> Oh my god, she knows I like jackfruit and she's killing me. Girl, I would have taken 10 jackfruit right now. You know, when they are Jamaican, I must say, boy, a stink of jackfruit. My girl, right now, I would have taken anything right now. I love jackfruit. All right, so guys, all right, so feel free to participate. Morning, sunny days, big up yourself. Feel free, guys, to participate. You can just add anything that you guys want to add. It's fine. All right, so first thing is first. <clears throat> Cerebral palsy is still the same as CP. We know so we love cutting short, so it's still the same as CP. Okay, guys? So in case you don't hear me drag out the, the medical terminology for cerebral palsy, I'm just going to say CP. Okay, guys? All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the first thing persons need to understand the meaning of cerebral palsy. All right. So it's on my little notebook. I didn't have my laptop today. <laughs> right, because I wanted you guys to see me clear. All right, so cerebral means of the brain palsy means lack of muscle control so if you notice most persons who have cerebral palsy have some deformities it's something relating to the muscles if you notice my son his fingers and his tippy toes yeah he, the hands and the feet for my son those are the ones that are affected remember Ed may not be in a wheelchair, that doesn't mean he doesn't have cerebral palsy. His cerebral palsy case is milder. Okay, guys? So don't judge him. And I'm going to get into the walking pattern, everything of somebody who is living with cerebral palsy. So I'm going to go through the points. Of course, if you guys know anything, you guys can add. Of course, remember, I tell you all the time, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a judge. I don't have a PhD. I don't have a master's. I just read. I try to educate myself so I can educate you guys. And I'm sure with all my topics, you'll learn even one point. And that's all that matters. Okay, guys? All right. All right. So let's get into cerebral palsy. And I'm going to give you the meaning. I just brought down cerebral means of the brain. Palsy means lack of muscle control. Good. All right, so the definition of cerebral palsy overall now means it is a motor or motor skills. People say motor skills, motor, M-O-T-O-R, motor disability caused from damages to the brain before and during birth. Okay, guys, 
so in order for my son to be affected by cerebral palsy it should it must have happened before or during and everybody knows my son got cerebral palsy during and i'm going to tell you how my son contracted oh you can't say contract because it's not no viral venereal disease so i wouldn't say a contract so I'm going to tell you how persons get cerebral palsy, guys. The mothers with kids with cerebral palsy, I want you to listen. Listen. And don't take it from me. My research proves and I can, anybody can tell you my, you know, some of my research they are thorough. So listen, mothers. Listen. All right. You cannot. Remember, listen, I'm going to break down the cerebral palsy that a lot of us have a lot of misconceptions of. You cannot get cerebral palsy as an adult. Okay, guys? So that's the first thing I want to clarify. All right. Two, cerebral palsy is not hereditary. So no doctors can tell you that cerebral palsy is hereditary. No people. And I'm not about genetics that cause cerebral palsy. I'm going to break down the cause of cerebral palsy right now. Okay. Remember, I told you it has to do with the brain. And I also told you that you can only get cerebral palsy during birth or after birth. So me did have healthy pregnancy and the doctors did their damages. Remember, my son had oxygen issues that left my son's brain damaged and severely scarred so that leaves him developmentally disabled so as i often say my son may never know one plus one means two but but i will teach him the physical realm since that that may be the most he can acquire so i want you guys to listen i'm just giving you a little hope that there's still life after cerebral palsy. All right, listen now, all right. Cerebral palsy can be attributed, CP. Remember people, if you hear CP, it still means the same. It can be attributed to, one, bleeding in the brain, two, infections, three, seizures, four, premature birth, five traumatic head injuries all right so those are the leading cause but i'm going to tell you now how it can be affected other than these issues i'm going to break this one down because this is what my son had and a lot of mothers that i met on my ward who had kids fighting with cerebral palsy when i was admitted with aiden she had that problem so listen to this now guys this is one of the biggest problems and this is where Listen to this, because this is a factor I have to get out to mothers. I want you to listen. Okay. The most common cause of CP due to birth injuries is the lack of oxygen deprivation. I don't forget about the, 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 the deprivation. It simply means when, you're when you, 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 you conceived or when you, during the, the, the delivery, the lack of the brain was deprived of oxygen and that is what caused majority of the kids who is living with cerebral palsy it is also noted you may see damages listening you know, people because when we come out and we talk people think something wrong with me i want to listen research shows you may see damages for by the medical professionals error you hear the word error so on the never a bond away there do not ever think that your kids was born with cerebral palsy something as uh, something must have happened when the child was coming out of that vagina sometime the, 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 my girlfriend issue when she had her baby the baby was in the kennel too long, struggling. A C-section would have saved that child, but no, they had that lady struggling for hours. And that was how her baby ended up with, 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 um, with, with um, cerebral palsy. Which means the baby brain was deprived of oxygen, so it could not have been the mother's fault. It has to be a doctor's error. I want you to listen to good enough people. Okay. Failing 
Right, so this was the, the, the fact that the doctor failed to meet the standard of care for her kids. So cerebral palsy, my son living with cerebral palsy is directly a contribution for my doctor's negligence. I want to listen you know. Because you see, the more I research, the more I understand. I don't know why I didn't go into law. Because people all tell me, Kerry, you are so brilliant. Oh, you missed law school and going to nursing school. I still not understand. Miss Keisha says, big up yourself, Miss Owell. If something happened, yeah. Something happened. Because we can't. There's no, I'm going to break it. This don't, this, I have to break this down. As I said, I never planned on touching this yet. But then since a lot of mothers of my has been saying, okay, Kerry, do this topic. So each time you give me a topic, I will research. I'm going to do the best I can and I will always clarify I'm not no doctor. But the research shows that your doctors are negligent. There's only two ways to get cerebral palsy. You cannot get it as an adult only before birth or after birth. My, my son got it as Mr. Aiden was in my canal for so long. Remember, he was premature, so he was susceptible from then. I should not have been pushing a two pound baby. Ten weeks. I mean, seven months old, premature baby, two pounds, and they had me push him. My son's lungs was already damaged. Because if you notice all that stress, that's why they had to rush with my son. Because he was oxygen deprived, because he was struggling. So a C-section would have saved my son the extra trauma on his lungs. They didn't know how to administer the oxygen now. So that's how my son died and came back to life five times. His, 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 his brain and his lungs got damaged. He was deprived. My premature son was literally breathing on its own with a damaged lung, with a, with a premature lung. That's unheard of. But I want to break it down. And that's how my son is now living with cerebral palsy, separate from being deaf blind. And each time I put a topic out there, my son is, relay is affecting my child. That's why I have to do these research. Mothers, we are limited because we don't research. No, me, I have to do it. I'm a day in the land where the opportunity is given. You can learn for yourself. So I'm breaking it down for mothers. Okay, Miss Farkinson said, my son was stuck for, for too long. Exactly. See, Miss Farkinson, she, she's saying it. Her son was stuck in the, in, the, in, the, in the passageway for too long. That was the main deprivation for the same work. Only don't worry about the deprivation. Deprived, deprivation, the whole of them mean the same thing. Only no focus on the big world, just understand the babies were out of oxygen for too long. So they're pushing some person to have small passage and the doctor them still have to let you push with a, with a narrow passage or a small passage. That shouldn't have happened. All right, Minister Joy Mackenzie says, but the doctors will never take responsibility. They will never take responsibility. And that's why I have to educate mothers. But a lot of it, the mothers are not talking out. We have our damaged kids and we go home and sit in a corner. And we have to be blamed. Because if all mothers stood up, these doctors can't win. You can't beat a mother. 10, 20 mothers coming out. You cannot. You cannot beat 10, 20 mothers. Impossible. When, when you can't sidetrack one, one and two, you cannot sidetrack 10 and 20. So we are powerful in numbers. Okay. Miss um, Miss Farkinson, if I had gotten a C-section, he would have been good. No, my son would have been good too. I would not have a deaf-blind son with all these tragedies. Okay, anyway, let me go. Because this is just taking a lot out of me. I don't even want to go there. I was trying to be so sweet on this topic. I must apologize. It wasn't supposed to come out so harsh. So let's, let's go back into the business. <laughs> Cause, uh, yes, let me get back before I lose my little soul and my little sanity. All right. CP, which is cerebral palsy again, guys, don't freak out, is the most, it's most common in childhood disabilities. So in, in, when you're talking about cerebral palsy, as I said, remember, it's birth to before birth, after birth. So most of the kids, it's only kids that are affected. So it's one of the most common disabilities that are out there, cerebral palsy. So the mothers who create these beautiful babies don't feel... Uh, listen, do not blame yourself. I, Karen Ellis, is telling you, telling myself, 
do not blame yourself you did nothing wrong you fed your child for the nine months you did everything exceptionally well throughout that time it was the doctor's incompetence negligence that caused these damages to our kids Stacey and Morgan said the hospi that hospital has done so much damage I wish mothers could come together and make a change oh Jesus man I've been begging I've been praying if I was in Jamaica me can tell you I would have been at that gate with my placards I had my clothes with Aiden's face right here with the mask over his head one to the back of my t-shirt with the mask over his head my pants had his pictures with the mask over his head and I would have had that standing there with my placard but because my son was laid dying I had to make the emergency rush for medical treatment you guys see six surgeries in the little time I landed in, within a year, I had to do six emergency surgeries. You guys saw. So it was no joke. But I still, I still plan to do my protests. Anytime you're done with your you come on back. I can guarantee you guys that the knowledge I have attained now is what I didn't know then. This is a different career and coming back home. Me can't tell anybody that. All right. Cerebral palsy. I'm go, all right. Each time you strike something off me, I forgot to add something, something I'll get off track. All right, so CP can worsen over time, guys. So the best way is to manage your kid's cerebral palsy. Right, remember, if you find out today that your child has cerebral palsy, remember I said it's a tightening of the muscles. Palsy has to do with your muscles. The earlier you, you have intervention, the easier for you. So guys, we know we're limited at Jamaica. We're not going to fight me out. We're limited. All right, for the persons who made it out, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, medications are the only four solutions to cerebral palsy, guys. Remember, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech, and the medication, these are the only solutions for kids living with cerebral palsy. Okay, the longer we take, all right, remember, all right, let me see if I can find an example. All right, this finger right here. I want to show you something. All right, if you notice this, what you call this twinkie or something pinky or twinkie, something like that. This little finger right here, you see this one can curl. Look at it, you know. This finger right here, look, it can curl. So in order for me to get this curl like this, I saw this curl in a one ball, this can't. Let me tell you what happened. So now... I, we call this with Jamaica say handicap finger, deformed finger, disability, you know, matter what kind of finger you want to call. I want to show you something. You notice this one doesn't flex as good as this one. All right, so one day I was cutting, I think I was cutting orange or something, and then the, the knife cut, cut my finger, slid through the, through the orange and cut my finger, bust it. And I had the finger up like this for the entire time because you know when you get one little cut you're free to lock it down and you know I mean overall you, you know you get any form of injuries we sit down and hide up the injury because we're free you know we want it heal all right so Miss Mackenzie says doctors need to start get sued if the doctors were getting sued nothing like this would have happened up here sir ask them quint listen to me is it any if you want sedation me have to make sure say remember the other day me go for do aid the sedation what the doctor tell me say aid enough cool it's if i want me sit down and wait for the sedation they said aiden has a little cold and of course i know mucus blocking your airways and then you go do sedation them literally dead to the world and then the mucus block off your airways and you can't breathe i understand the logic because me do nursing for years so me understand but what me i say the people must say one little call them not do it the other day I go again, Aiden, if you get him, him, him four year old shot, they said, then can't give me shot because him have cold. Him have fever and the shot I go bring. You know, once you have fever, sometimes, not all the time, once you have a cold, I'm sorry, sometimes you get fever. Sometimes you don't. Right? But they said, in the eventualities of them giving him an injection, it's automatic his fever is going to spike. And if he already has fever, with an additional spike fever, then you all know that fevers is not good. He, you know, say fever not good for the body. Once you put the eye, is either put him in some cold water, put it, put some ice, put some towel, something, something, something. But fevers is never good. Any farmer, anybody who knows fever, it's the worst thing a child can have. Even though we take it light, it's not, it's not good. And they had to cancel. 
You see, from when Aiden, even though we settled that everything signed, we still have to wait till Aiden, when we go and then check him again, they must be thoroughly clear before them put him under any medication and sedation. Because if he never wake up, every man gets sued. So they have to protect themselves. If you scratch your head or you scratch your head too tough, you're in a problem. I know, me know, no understand because as we say, me there so, and sometimes they say, Doc, can I get a little medication? You know, me there yard, me, there, me can say, walk in a one pharmacy, and say, Be you want medication? And they write something, you just tell me a concern, and then give it for you. Oh, person, Lord Jesus. I have to see the doctor. I have to book, book my taxi fear go. Book my taxi fear come back. Remember, all of that could have been avoided, you know. But I have to do all that people just to say, Okay, yes, you can get one little flu and cough medicine. So them people are protect their asset, them protect their everything in a five seconds because they know Jamaica no no protection. The doctor, the, all of the doctors them still at work. For me, doctor, Dr. Tate and that team there, Dr. Tate, Dr. Thompson, Dr. Kildare, for their name call every day. That team, the name, I said blink their name call for some baby. And these people go to work every day, not even the government, nobody no intervene. Them people say, well, me kill it to the people. Listen to me, me I go collect my salary tomorrow and that's it. Oh, I'm going kill her today, I'm going back tomorrow. I'm not nah, saying premeditated, but I just make you see I just, that I just a system. Nobody no care. And no matter how you ball and cry, it's either here or there to nobody because they get them pay. When they go and sit down in a three story house and they look down upon you, where probably homeless, me homeless with me disabled one, they look down upon me, where homeless. And they make me homeless because they put me in one predicament where I'm stuck with that one situation. And because you've been an excellent mother, you have to work with it. All right, I watch your programs most times and I see the struggle you and your baby go through. Yeah, mama, go through it, mama. Me not have it no pretty, pretty thing. And especially now that I'm in America, you have to go through it harder because Jamaica, me know everything of Jamaica, me know around the corner, up the road, bend down the bend. Oh, person, me not have that, me don't know nobody in a foreign. Me live in a one place, so me tell you, not even my family, don't know if me dead right now, nobody don't know which part me are hidden there. And maybe when they call me phone or whatever, some cling could I make or then put the body on the ice, then they try to go through my phone and figure out who related to me. Nobody don't know which part me are there. Because up is one selfish town. You come up with all family selfish, friends selfish, everybody gets selfish. When you're there, you are you find everybody closer. All if you're hungry, you can go around the corner, go chat to your neighbor, and your neighbor cook some, some dumpling or some, some butter. And you're good to go. Up here so different, so I tell you the struggle real up here so. And if you see me hustle, me hustle and me sit down and me pick out the office, hustle, office, plan out me think and me now go dead up here so. Me now left coming in and the opportunity gone dead. So me go figure out how to join the opportunity and jump on the bandwagon and build success out of this. Because nothing no come easy, maybe me come and the government and throw them bag of money and me sit down and me that, sit down and cock up and you look. I saw me belly, I saw me belly there. Hey, look, my face get fat and my belly get big. Love it, don't sit down and knee and they little free something them. But me not stay like that, baby. So, yeah, so my body still neat and in that intact. Yes. You sit down and me plan out in the brain how to achieve. Because we now he's not going to be a victim. All right, Miss Fark, <laughs> Miss Fark, since the system slack. Yeah, man, the system gone. All right, so let's get back into it, guys. So CP worsens over time, guys. So, the best way to manage CP is by getting physical, speech, medication, or occupational therapies. And, as I said, cerebral palsy affects muscles. So, if you notice, most babies' muscles are cringed or bent or dent or... We know the system. I'm not... I'm not parents, please don't feel bad, but I'm just, you know, trying to let them understand. All right. Miss Surgeon says, I just love listening to you. Thank you, my love. I'm in uh, Miss Underhill asks what state am I in? I'm in Florida, my darling. Hi, Miss Chin. Good morning. All right. So listen to this now, people. Contrary, come I love use that word in because everybody believes it. All right. So when I tell Aiden, when I tell people my son has cerebral palsy, they look at me and say, but Aiden, I walk. Listen to this, guys. Okay. Many people with cerebral palsy can walk. Only hear that. So now we can't say Aiden active, he has cerebral palsy. But you you won't see it much. But you see, if you take off him shoes and him feet, all right, I can post a picture now. And when you look at Aiden, Aiden go like this. Aiden fingers, Aiden don't have muscle grip. How do I put it? All right. If I tell Aiden, 
to do this all right so this is a i'm going to share something with you that a lot of persons don't know you see this right here you see all this little i mean can just take up all the little toots here my son can't do that my son's muscles are deformed i want to explain because a lot of persons have a lot of misconceptions so i want to break it down this right here you see it flat my son can't pick it up this right here my son can't pick these up my son muscles are damaged if you look at my son's toes they are damaged the most i can do is the physical therapy and those things and if you notice i do swimming with him because swimming helps with the muscles swimming is an excellent form of sports for persons with cerebral palsy a lot of people don't know that but i'm telling you so if you notice me do no swimming with my son me not have a pool now where i live i had a nice pool people remember them pool them yes but i don't have that anymore but swimming is an excellent form of exercise i i was told recently that even his insurance covers swimming because it's a part of physical therapy so persons who know anything about that you can research that so i was told that he can get to do all these courses free because it's a part of physical therapy and his insurance does cover him for physical therapy uh hold on when my son went home and got back to the hospital two months after one nurse see him them say oh him no so bad <laughs> him come on <laughs> no me not laugh i just because i oh you write it i'm so sorry all right me never did for laugh but i oh you said funny so she said just after her son got released from the hospital when the son got home a nurse saw the saw her son and said him no so bad him come out good <laughs> as we said we not laugh <laughs> the ear she said the nurse said the baby come out good better than she expected it so me i tell you about them people that we're looking for with pitney and me scared now and i'm so sorry the laugh never did come but oh you're right it it sounds very funny all right so you saw them bright so they might look out for the lady baby with the cp and then i go tell her i said oh him come out good me never knows them would come out so good him come out better than i expected so you see what me i tell the people so down to the people and we are look out for our people we can't trust them because them not have no faith because for the nurse i tell the mother that you wonder what kind of monster you left your good good penny under and i'm so sorry miss fork is about big up yourself thank you so much for that and at the end of the day people need to understand that the good thing about everything is standing tall and she can look back i had a friend who's the doctor said yeah baby i got dead in one month and right now the baby a parrot a chatting par she's sensible she's smart and the baby is still alive big up yourself jamelia the baby is alive and well and they gave her two months to have a dead baby so enough time the doctors them worse than we as the mothers sometimes them look for me and they want to tell me so something they just looking at them face and they say you can't tell me that i'm not tough they not cross me the nurse, I, them the people that don't have Mandeville, they know so they know nobody for cross me. They know what they used to call me Google. Because anything I'm to aid in, they say, well, I don't know how my brain not take. You see me going to my book, and I come back with you some blurred stuff question. I go, I Google, then call me. Oh, Ellis is Google. Ellis is Google. I don't look for them, I Google. See it? Right now, I'm educated to a Google. So, them can't stay there. Um. Oh. I don't understand why, all right, one, your son have disability, he have a lot of options in the US, yes, he has a lot of options, love, a, a lot, a lot of love too, up here, so, Lord Jesus, he come like, the more disabled the pitney is, and the more love him get, you know, as they say, it's not a bad thing, but I didn't understand that, you sound funny, but me never understand that, Miss Smith, and when me come and find me, know that they love disabled pitney. I mean, I mean it in a negative way or special needs. In no matter how we want to put it, I'm just saying. When we come up here, so it come like, me just give birth to Jesus. You know, when Jesus is born in the manger, everybody all over the world come meet him. Listen to me, my son. My son. I don't mean, I mean know how to explain the love they and them make me accept Aiden faster. I mean, I go around the corner. I never say, I never accept the son in the corner. He's a fighting woman. But. Then me, me stop looking at me head in my head and start judging. Cause listen, you remember you know, me up to this day. Remember me tell you I was five months pregnant when I go back to Jamaica. And me always used to blame myself. It's when me come here, sir, and see all them people I love Aiden. You know, think me, you know, me tell you Aiden come home with the big all expensive shoes in the bag. Yeah, me no boy, but you are going good. 
But I don't know if I should have sent my shoe size in the little in the end bag next time I see if I could get one too. Them they love the unheard of. I mean totally unheard of. I mean loved. Loved. I hope some of me know said my brother don't condemn me picking the people. Walk with him. They have one different I mean, as I say, I don't know if I because they get sued as them breathe. But they love you. Up as so they make me feel like don't they not even make me feel like I have one special needs child. They make me feel like I have the most brilliant child who ever graced the face of this planet. And it motivates you. But if me get up every morning, the neighbor chat me pitney, yeah, you're handicapped, eat that pitney. Me tell you, so one time one woman did get bright and say, um, my vagina curse. I draw me a cans, you know? And the woman watch the news every day and say, oh, me a fight with me, me, me sensible sweet pitney, you know? And the woman say, mama, you have your whole curse. And she never, ever, me know say I draw me a can. <clears throat> Because nobody is not going to use all and curse and them crosses thing there. I mean, no one dirty Jamaican. And you know what I said to her? I said, I'm so sorry, you must have been having a bad day. And I remember after the conversation ended, she was like, have a wonderful day too. Because apparently she thought I was going to go in my bitch mode. And I was like, you know, I think you're having a bad day and I must apologize, you know, for you having a bad day. But me flip, me flip the reverse part she because me not one thing with people, you can't get to me. It's when me go in and me lock my door, me not see that evil dog until my son comes home. Not no go in my inner space. Me can't inner so and my neighbor, they not even know some in my house. Maybe me loud and noisy so they might hear me. God is working so nicely on Aiden. All disabilities will eventually go. Amen, amen and amen. If you don't tell us about some of Aidy's disabilities care, we don't even know because they are not even visible. The way he, yes, it, they are not visible. The way how he is behaving. God, God is good. Keep pushing my girl. I will, my love. I will. Oh my God, look there. Aiden's school I call. But I'm going to call them back. I don't know. Not, not, not the school. One of his appointments. But I don't want to cut this because I think, the, you know, the program is good. I'm going to call back. Right now, I want to leave Jamaica because I believe my son will walk with better equipment and stuff. And that we don't have here. That is one of the things. In order to get a physical therapist in Jamaica, you have to have your good money. Mona Rehab, them places. As we said, I don't know if Mona Rehab is for the government. But what I do know that you have to have your good money. Can you guys hear me? A call was coming in. I have to go, re I have to go probably try to get back Aiden's appointment. But it's fine. I'm going to get back to that. Yeah, man, when it comes down to the financing to take care of a special needs, it's ten times worse than, especially when you're severely disabled, it, it takes a toll, people. And it's no joke. Pampas, you're talking about my girlfriend's daughter is about 13, 14, and she has to be lifting that baby girl to keep diapers on. What about 2030? She lives to see 2030. You're talking about that, that 30 years of lifting. So come on guys, me, me alright with Aiden little disability because he's ambulant. And if I say Aiden, take up your bottle and mommy put on him pampers, him take up him little buttocks and I put on him pampers. Some persons don't have that. Miss Austin says, so true, I also have a son. I have a child with Down syndrome in Jamaica. And they say retard. Yeah, baby girl, that's the biggest thing. Handicap and retard. You retarded he? Listen to me, Aiden never get it too. Aiden was going to get it. You hear me tell you? Even now, I see people looking at Aiden like all oh, weird. Because my son's eyes, the beauty of my eyes, the brown and the white, Aiden's eyes is white. So white at the top, white at the bottom. And then remember, he has um, the, the what, what, what did I say that they, they diagnosed him? He, they had the cataracts. So you know, the cataracts make him eyes fully white. So it's like, you know, when you watch them ghost movie, they and they, I see the, the eyes they're fully white, they love give the, give the white eyes them to make the doppy look real. So my son has those white eyes. So if you look at him, you won't see it, but when he's staring, when, like if you're going to face him directly, <laughs> somebody laughing, when you're facing him directly, you know his eyes is not, not normal. Because everybody's eyes are black, blue, pink, but mine was just fully white. You know something is wrong at that time. All right, so Miss Joan says, remember when I was pregnant and then when... It's some apples downtown and then went when it was some apples downtown to Kingston and I said lady I don't want that apple and she said that's all the apple stay back with some babies are born and they kept 
All right, all right. Let me try to read Miss something because she has a beautiful point, but the things are going up so fast. I can't even get to um see the. Oh Jesus, it went. Oh Jesus, I don't know how to get back, but um. It went up so fast. I was trying to read. Let's see if I are. All right. Remember when I was pregnant, and when. It was apple time downtown Kingston and I said lady I don't want that apple and she said that's all the apple stay back with some babies stay back she said that's all the apple stay back with some babies are born handicapped God of Christ help me I was not saved so you know all those apples landed on that lady and that day this is a clean version I'm giving. Thank God for salvation. All right, so I'm not sure if she was trying to predict, like giving you the apple would make the baby a handicap or something like that. I'm not sure if that's what she's trying to say because maybe me read it so confusing because it'll go up so fast. Right, but she said, thank God for salvation. So I'm hoping and praying that the baby was normal after that season. But let me tell you, man, bad mouth exists. You have some people with some demon mouth, you see, man? And that's why I tell people the wor words are powerful. And I understand a lot of times people get pregnant and they keep their pregnancy in private because of the, the nature of people. We, Jamaica have some people where we, we don't know how we get so. It's like we still have the slave mentality now. We like, we just get so, some of we are just so dirty. We bad mind, we bad mind for all no reason. We, the words from a more dirty, we ungrateful. Sometimes, hello, me see people I get all help. And they must say, listen, they want prom, they want Gucci bed. Listen, they must tell you how they want, you know. No, like for me you now. When me come up here, so I'm desperate at Jamaica, I'm up on the streets of Jamaica, I beg help for aid. And anybody know I want good doctor? Anybody know I want specialist? When they must tell me money, I don't have it, but I ask. And remember when me come up here, some people and help me, listen. Ah, oh, when they must give me some old baggy, I'm glad for old baggy. But we have this tendency. Oh, me want Gucci panty. Me no want the wear and left. Remember, me never have nothing, you know. So, me now go expect that you go come and you go give me one old bag with full of oil. Me no mind the old panty, but you now have to give me full of oil. Me no know if you don't understand. But you have people now. Me no want the old baggy. Make sure say are Gucci and Fenty. Remember, me not to make you afford Gucci and Fenty. You already broke and pauperized. So I don't know if they, they, me just think say you get the panty and it'll cover the little vaggie and it'll keep it fresh and clean and whatever. Me feel say that are the purpose of the panty. But me never know if the Gucci panty, maybe the Gucci panty are going to make the vagina turn Gucci brand. Me not sure. But a lot of us, even getting help, a lot of us lose our blessing because of how the things them we say and how we approach it. They might tell you, oh, I want Gucci pram. You know, just take one regular prom, Lord Jesus, when I have prom at Jamaica, I wish my just give me one little something and I push Aiden and I feel it for this 30 pound picnic. And yeah, tell him what kind of prom you want. You want, some of them all tell him, say, oh, even when you give me the bed, make sure the sheet is Gucci sheet. Rasta jo, Gucci sheet, people. You know, just want one little piece of sheet for go over your bed. You have uh, some little sheet downtown. When I was in Jamaica, I used to go downtown and you have the little cheap sheet. You know, the little cheap sheet and cheap curtain. And when you go in a Chinese place, then tin. Anything we had in your house, your neighbor can't see. Ah, when the light off, then can still peep through your curtain. People are telling you they want Gucci sitting and they must stick and they want our drapes. People, when I come a foreign and I just start out, I have no option. Any help or help, people donate them little nice little clothes. All if I never like your fashion for aid, I fix them up nice with that because when I start to have no good nice money now, I can't choose the style I want. But a lot of us in Jamaica, me hear on all some of the people I'm missing recently, I get help them, I tell you what they want. All the lady underneath the tent, who says she must say, she, she's underneath the tent and she have a good, strong husband and she's strong. And I say, but look how I sit down with me picking here, I'm not even, I beg, no family can't say, I call them and beg them ten dollars. When hungry, I kill me, I hate me, sit down up at this. And I map out how to make an extra ten dollars. No family can't call and say that girl, your friend, she's there two years, she come to them for nothing. Remember, I have a job. Remember, me never call Aiden sperm donor and say, yo, me a beg you two pampas. Never. I want to have none, me tie, do me a tie a scandal bag. I can't tie a scandal bag and make a pee pee kitchen a scandal bag. Me will do that. Because my pride be on. Me, me prideful. But if we, we, we stop being ungrateful, man, and accept what we want and build upon what we want. Do what we want. I just saw it if we go till better come. 
All right, nothing, Miss Tharp, Miss Tharpy, or Thropy, or Queen Bee says nothing hurt me so much when people use that T R and H word. It breaks my heart. Yeah, man. Me say, Jamaica, I want something to make your pity. They look like I worst thing in a. They make you sick. They make all your your, your own pity sick your stomach. Because so when then don't break him, you come like all you you regret having a child. I when I love the pity, you know. Me know people right now. We say them baby blind, and they not even make nobody know. So them baby blind. You can imagine. I'm blindness is something you can't hide. How you gonna hide blindness? How long you can't hide blindness for? We live in a one society where people don't embrace these things and figure out how to help. Me in a quick to help my neighbor. Me see my help neighbor down this and she have one sick child. Carry what me can do for you. Keep, me, me keep all Aiden. Aiden used to, me never have to worry about Aiden. My neighbors, they used to love Aiden. Me could have dropped off Aiden at anyone upstairs, downstairs, out of the room. Me used to have one shopkeeper, the boss man. Sometimes she come and she, sometimes she get all her goods in her head and get goods out tight for she love. She say, but Aiden, you live life. She used to take out her good nice all uh, donut. Me used to love donut. You could have tie me with donut. And she take out her nice clean donut and give me nice clean sun. I'll sometimes I'm eat it off, but she used to cut up your apple. Little, you know them little shop people. Like, oh God, I want to bless her one day, see man. So let me tell you people. The R word, retired and handicapped, are something I not tolerate. Me eat the word. It's sick on my stomach when me eat the word. You shame, you shame your own pitney. We need to do better. Alright, so. Tia Chin says mental retardation is an old diagnosis. They use all oh, when they have certain IQs. But no, the correct term is intellectual disability. Yes, because it's right here, baby girl. Intellectual disabilities. Hi, Yanni. Big up yourself. Thank you so much for joining because I know you have a lot of input on this topic too. Yes. So in Jamaica, people still stigmatize. Of course. Of course. People, we, we, st we still stigmatize these kids for no reason at all. That's true, Miss Chin. I mean, I swear, I swear to the truth. All right, so Miss Jennifer says, you're watching from Florida. Yes, Miss Jennifer, you can come over, come sit down and host the program with me. I'm in Florida too, you know. All right. Um, all right, guys, so Miss Bennett says, true. All right, so let me get back into some more points, guys. All right, so what people need to understand again, when it comes on to CP, listen, you know, guys, it only, listen, you know, it only affects coordinations your muscles reflexes posture and their balances and for the persons who have a child in such that will happen remember guys it only affects these sections are are the muscles are the, the section that affects the mu coordination let me because let me, i'm trying to to put the pato in the English and it now work out. So let me just read from the passage so everybody can understand. All right. So as I said, guys, cerebral palsy only affects their co a, per a child's coordination, their muscles, their reflexes, their posture, and their balance. So like most kids, if you notice, most cerebral palsy kids can't sit up like this. It's like how oh, me sit up nice. They can't because they don't. They don't understand. They probably. We, we we know we know the situation so i don't need to break it down but i just want you to understand all right so miss francisco says the stigma in jamaica only gets stronger the poorer yes yes the poorer the person are the worse it gets let me tell you you see when you have one disabled pity in a ghetto bounty drango lord of mercy for my soul listen you see if they don't want residential area residential area people kind of you know, residential people kind of lock up, kind of, kind of have this kind of American thing. You know, most time them kind of know them look a close neighbor, but residential areas tend to have that thing like up so. But you see, when you live in the ghetto, Lord Jesus, I have all, you had all bad girl I used to cuss people pit me. And when they used to line up the girl, I remember saying, never pregnant them time, they decide, say, boy, you bust a, you bust a pregnancy now. And boom, puts come out. Could come with some disability, Lord Jesus. I went in a cerebral palsy. How when you just look at slow, Lord God, they would have taunted till the day you die. Get up, people. As we say, I won't put it as get up, people, because for, for me, get up means in my book, me not, me not look on the zinc and the fence and whatever. I look at a person's mental state. So, me say, get up is a person's mental state, them reasoning. 
That are just me. So me know people say, boy, once you get to your zinc fence, me not look on that. <clears throat> because most times, all right, you will find like probably out of 100% of the get up, probably 30% rise and the next 7% remains the same, get pregnant, follow the same standard of living. So to me, it's a mental thing. Me living at the ghetto and me get free light. Why me go, go up? I've heard this before. Me living at the ghetto. Why me go, go uptown and pay a light bill? Remember, you know, me a look once a boy. <clears throat> me tired so me can't sleep. Me tired to me start for the rugu 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 them years old. Me tired of them something there. But them not look on it like that. They must say, boy, me sit down and me have free light. Me get free water. Me have party for every corner. Even if I work on my chin shop and my chin give me $500 a week, be good call. I don't pay a light, I don't pay a water. When you look at CTV, like them run, 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 run. When you look JPS, come cut it down. And by the time JPS drive around the corner, and then put it up back. Who can't get electrocuted? Get electrocuted. Who don't get electrocuted? Have them TV for watch till JPS pop it down again and then go back again and then pop, 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 pop. Then two more get electrocuted and then boom, then get back them cable. When you look, me used to see my girlfriend have cable channel. How much used to pay like $30? I saw. Like every week the man come for $50. Me say, Lord of mercy, I didn't like him. I want to live. So why me I go uptown? I have to pay a <coughs> floor bill. Floor bill all. He had $10,000. When I check sometime, then they say I run all the phone bill. I never use the phone. So I substitute $30 a week for $8,000. But <coughs> me rather take a gunshot. And when I pick me a girl's school, then I have to duck. When they look in, he look across dirty up because I'm off a gunshot. And she just said, So, Aiden Irving, I don't understand. How did you come to school so dirty? Oh, miss, miss, I pizza shot in the fire, miss, and I have a chuck off in the mud puddle. <laughs> but instead, oh, why? We rather sit down in a mud puddle and take it to a gunshot. And then, Lord God, my son got killed. Oh, God, me didn't just kill me one daughter. When the reality of the situation is a mental thing. Me feel so the cheaper the way of life, the more fun. Boy, when he, when he say, oh, my girlfriend, I'm like, my mother up on my lines in a big, nice house. I'm tired of them big, nice house. I don't even get to do. When they look, my friends say, Kerry, party tonight. Lord God, I'm not going to close my job on to my friend clothes. I'm not going to talk. That's my, then the girl I'm a girl when I grew up with from Pitney. I'm like my sister. And then tell them, I'm not exposed to party. Because you know your mother raised you in an Adventist or you're Christian. <coughs> and I touch the party people when me. When I touch a party now and I borrow to our frock, Lord God, I don't even miss up town. As soon as my mother come down, I see my mother here. Yeah? <laughs> like your mother come to see which boy you're there. Now. See my mother here? Yeah? When you look, my mother would have all the Bible on her head. Because she walk with the Holy Jesus and everybody will come through the little, you know the little lane there. So when you shut up for your head and away for running, you, know, you don't have to take a gun shot. See I? And my mother don't come and then her purse. Her purse, you know this up. <laughs> our baby should put it. <laughs> our baby should not put it. If the purse could have fit all this, so <clears throat> she'll tuck it in as you know. And then she have the Bible for her head because she says she's protected by the most, you know. She'll come through the corner, you know. But sometimes you have to take bad things, but do. But me didn't love to get up. I'm not telling a lie. I never did uptown. I love the ghetto. Even now, I can't live anywhere. I can't live anywhere in nobody. I me, me, me rough like that. I can't tough things out. All right. So, Miss Shamoy says, I mean, ignorant people stigmatize because you have upscale society people who do, it, do this too. I am just amazed at your strength. Thank you, Miss. No, I'm not saying, you know. As Miss, Miss Shamoy, no, thank you so much for that input. I'm not saying that. The uptown people not stigmatizing, you know. But you see, as me said, I used the ghetto, and as I said, I didn't use the ghetto because of the, the zinc and the fence. I use it as a mental place. More you understand, you know. So as I said, I'm not be be categorizing me not true no blame for nothing. But I'm saying you know, I find that ghetto people chat enough. Ghetto people can't keep their mouth shut. When we used to sit down with my girlfriend. Yeah, the uptown, the people they lock up in their house. You know, I see people uptown sit down out the road, <clears throat> five in the morning. And when I look at six of them sit down out of the corner and I chat. Then chat enough. 
I ever see click. You pass all sometimes you know one passes a house when you look, you want God to shop you're afraid for guy shop because six money or oh, there are six in their morning, you don't know where they find so early for chop. So it's a mental thing. While if you're uptown, you know you have expenses them, even if you don't want to work, you have to work. Else you're gonna live in the ghetto. The ghetto is cheaper, so the people are more freer. So guess what? They're gonna chat more. They're gonna just open for just live because life is easier. So as I said, don't as I said, everybody chat at Jamaica. But I think ghetto is more pop. It is like it's like New York overly populated, Miami overly populated. It's a thing like that. So more people are gonna see you, more people are gonna come in contact with you. You know, everybody there, everybody had everybody closer. The band is different. So you're gonna find more people are chat you. So that's basically what I was saying, Miss my love. So please, you know, yes, and as Miss Mackenzie said, it's just their mindset. And at the same thing, I say, so you know, I know if you do with the book, as I said, I've made a lot of emphasis. If you notice, I said, not the zing, not the this, it's just the mental state or the mindset, as Miss Mackenzie said. That's all I'm trying to say. All right. Miss Jones says, you're so humorous. Everything you're saying is true to the bone. No, true, mama. All right, let me get back into my business. <clears throat> all right, so. One in... 323 babies are diagnosed. Remember, I know one. So Aiden just a lucky if drop in a one in 323 babies are diagnosed with cerebral palsy. You can just imagine. So <clears throat> me, I wonder if when Aiden got touched the one twenty-three, the three twenty-three. Sometimes me, I wonder if him could have pushed over a little more. And drop out of the 24, so he not drop this up. But what me I go do? One in three, 23. So guess what? He did not forget it. You ever see some people have some type of disease and then tell us one in all 10,000 boxy foot? You know, see, I'm sure if you watch um, Born Different, some people, could, I watch those things a lot. Our special kids with special books or whatever. If you watch these programs, they'll tell you. You have some diseases, one in ten thousand, one in one hundred thousand. And you get it. You know, tell me, say, God no sense. God no know him, I do. You just did forget it. Because there's no way me finally get pregnant at 33, 34. And me get one baby. And one in ten thousand pick me and I ain't get it. I'm just saying. In the, I forget it, my love. In the band that they came there. I him with the bond. Why God never make all right? Remember, Aiden come two months early. Why God never say all right? Kerry, me gonna make Aiden stay till January. So the amount of babies with a catch another two months they know. Cause every day baby born. So Aiden not miss it now. Cause him, him born the original month. Why is it that him have to come early to drop in at the set? In just it just did for happen. A lot of people it just did for happen. Hi Miss Moore, good morning. All right, so Miss Mackenzie said diabetes, the diabetes is similar to diabetes. It's true. One in a every something, something. A true. All right, so Miss Jones says, oh, I remember living down Milk Lane. That's a one place down in the Gaza Strip. We know what she had talked about. And my sister and I have more here than anybody. And my goodness, every time we go out there, would say something negative. We need more food, we need more meat, Lord Jesus, you name it. And I was the darker one, so, so they got it to me. And if I get them first, um, and I was the darker one of the two, so it got me. Right, so you see it? So just because she, they had nice, longer, beautiful hair, they were bullied for that. Because technically that's a form of bully. Simple stuff. And they need more food, they need more meat. And the people them over here now grow them to go eat the meat and the food. I'm just showing you so people do me not know. As me say, as me say, thank you so much, Miss Jones, for that. People at that same thing me I talk about. Then talk for everything I went unnecessary. If you pitney come, I you pitney the most brilliant in your community, you go find 100 people I hate them. When everybody should have come together and say, listen, no man could come together because she go build the community. She can't come back and build the community, but no, then rather. They have Jamaica go say them and go fling so obia. And you say, oh, your pinny belly start hurt your obia, they obia the pinny. That's not that foolishness. But I'm just saying, you know, the, their mindset is just, you know, it's just so different. Um, Miss Mackenzie said, well, you are so positive. Not many people is like that. Thank you so much. Oh, God. You know, I changed me, changed enough though. I used to dwell on a lot of negatives and I told myself for 2022, I wanted to make a difference. So that's why I started doing this program. 
all right all right so let me get back into some other points as soon as they pop up i'll read something oh miss maria miss maria says god oh doing thank you so much my love god bless you too all right <clears throat> miss moore says good morning good morning my love all right so remember i said one in 323 babies are diagnosed with cerebral palsy okay so you can't miss it if you drop this up you have to get it all right every hour i want you to listen there is a baby that is born with cp so people as me say if a never get it to be the one in 323 the hour that he came i just him did forget it because every hour a child is born with cerebral palsy every hour so right now we are talking i don't even know what time it is now somebody's pushing out a baby with cerebral palsy or there's some complication with cerebral palsy okay guys so let's not be limited wow and that's why me have to give god thanks because me has seven kids and everything was okay with them miss moore juliet lord jesus thank you so yes man you have to give god thanks you have to all right <clears throat> all right approximately 18 million listening to people so i know Aiden alone has cerebral palsy i know my tree little friend alone has cerebral palsy but i want to be here approximately 18 million people of all ages is living or are living with cerebral palsy worldwide so <clears throat> 18 million people people ain't have no friend out there so the billions and billions of people were born normal and still have 18 million friends so uno, the 18 million now go bully him because guess what they share the same fate you understand <clears throat> so who now want a friend him we just have to find two friends with cerebral palsy and put him right this and the word him a big friend because none can oh you have cerebral palsy oh no you have cerebral palsy you can imagine that cousin lord jesus you can imagine them across each other but rather them cause each other because they can't cause each other because they have the same problem than, than somebody was sensible and smart now we supposed to have dignified intelligence and a, a slot on the poor pitney yeah man you have cerebral palsy and when you go around the corner oh no you have cerebral palsy and then because they say boy cerebral palsy be all right with that be good with that um miss boy says glory be to god continue to pray for them oh lord jesus i do pray my love i i so do pray and miss jones says god is using you to do a beautiful work right now and maybe that's why you're in the position that you are with your son because you inspire other mothers like yourself thank you my love and that's why i wanted to do this yeah i just got up one day and i said you know let me educate myself because i do a lot i'm going to do a braille lecture one day but i need to get um a chalkboard i'm going to teach you guys braille guys lord jesus that's going to be exciting that's going to be exciting when i teach you braille but me need to get my big nice blackboard and i'm going to teach a little braille and i'm going to break it down in two sections a to a to l or so and then from l to z then i'm going to teach you numbers in braille letters you know how to form words in braille be a something 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 but i'm going to teach you that as i go along the book i take up my time now because show me if i try hurry up and done the book before the month at the end of this month so you know every time you get a little one break i want you to just you know to just enjoy it um that means the doctors worldwide need more experience or educate better how to deal with pregnant women right so as it says and if you were here earlier it says it has to be negligence from the doctors except for the ones that are born with prematurity and whatever Aiden was born premature but Aiden didn't get cerebral palsy through being premature he got it from the the, the, the oxygen and if you notice every every damage Aiden highs was the oxygen ears was the oxygen his long shifting was the oxygen his brain damage was the oxygen so if it was prematurity and he was born that way then I would have understood but all these complications is from the one oxygen and as i said medical uh, medical persons have already told me so me now make up my fabrication everything in, is in my u.s notes you know me no make up story but i have my facts and i speak with facts okay all right let me continue now all right so as i said guys 18 million persons worldwide are living with cerebral palsy boom 
All right, this is how cerebral palsy affect each person. All right, so 75%. So I'm going to go into the calculations now. I look at him, I'm done with the paper, then I see it here. All right, so how does cerebral palsy affect people? This is, this is how it's, it affects everybody differently. So I'm going to explain. So it's broken down into percentage, guys. So 75% experiences chronic pain i think it was jojo jojo i don't know if she's on my live now but i think jojo's daughter she did a recording and she was showing the pain that her daughter was in because she had um cerebral palsy and i remember one time she was moving her foot and it's like the whole of me turn the whole of me turn and you can hear the moaning because remember the baby she can't speak for several life so she goes like, mm, mm. and i remember that video i'll never take that back it's still in me re re rest in peace r.i.p baby r.i.p all right 33 percent cannot walk so remember i said not all cerebral palsy persons cannot walk two in three can walk only now you know the entire spectrum only 33 percent listen you know can't walk cannot walk now go walk will never walk me break it down in a part in a english so you understand all right 33 percent have hip replacement so after a while because you guys see that most of them their their hips and their legs are you guys see this the situation i don't need to break it down so after a while the older they get they'll require hip replacement so 30 percent 33 percent of person now who are older will require hip replacement i mean maybe when they're young too because depending on how bad it is maybe you'll have to do it young but i'm just saying and 20 percent are tube fed so some parts of the cerebral palsy, like my girlfriend daughter, she fat and rosy and she eat up her nice clean food. She's mouth fed. Aiden is mouth fed. Other persons are tube fed. Okay? Alright, and I know a few persons who are tube fed. Alright. So I know everybody tube fed and everybody can't walk. I'm just breaking it down. Okay. Alright, so persons know with CP, cerebral palsy again, guys, often have co-occurring conditions all right i don't know if it means reoccurring co-occurring or co-occurring means i guess it's other other ailments that comes with it so i'm thinking that's what co-occurring means yes that are the that are little white people words you know co-occurring all right so listen to this one now guys 50 percent of intellectual impairment my son has intellectual impairment as i often say he may never get algebra he may never get um one plus one he may never get mommy i love you he may never speak even though he has cochlear implants and just hoping that that makes a difference but having intellectual disabilities it's going to limit a lot of stuff so even though me are teaching my son may never ever speak you understand guys yes so doing this research i understand my son a lot better all right this is so interesting i have so much to do today and honestly i'm running late but i don't want to leave i have to watch to the end oh thank you my love yes i really wanted to do this because a lot of persons were asking for it 25 so as i said let me go back people with cp often have huh, occurring conditions like, as we said the white people call occurring okay so I'm going to break it down in percentage again. And as I said, 50% have intellectual impairments. My son has that. 25% <clears throat> have epilepsy. I did epilepsy in this. I covered it in my last. If you look at the last one I did, somebody can remind me the last topic I covered. Because trust me, I not remember. The one I just covered, I think it was yesterday. Yes. <clears throat> I did something about epilepsy. So that was one of the things that was affected us autism thank you so much peter get big up yourself yes autism i covered guys if you guys miss it autism is on my page i did the autism yesterday 
and epilepsy <clears throat> was one of the main one of the, the leading seizures that comes with um as i said you have different seizures people different seizures you have the the, the shivers are they them have different names you know they call it different but it, it don't look like when they get cold and you have something there it have a name for that you have epilepsy when you boom your head and you have epilepsy that's the lead that's one of the worst ones when you have autism so now it comes back again guys it comes back again with this topic and it says 25 percent of persons with cerebral palsy will have epi epilepsy episodes remember you know, epilepsy still have to come from the brain autism still have to come from the brain so if you notice everything tied in so when i tell you my son has brain damage it a tie in with cerebral palsy it a tie in with autism it a tie in with intellectual disability everything come with the one brain and that's why you have to pray over your kids brain people you have a guy you have a person that's a brilliant doctor brilliant doctor and him study too much and when you look you see brilliant doctor remember this boy i get a's 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 and i don't know if i study you study too hard and chipping brain when you look and you see him a sniff coke or in the sometimes you pass him for the red and not even know if this man I used to look after me the brain you have to protect it and take care of it and pray over it because the brain is the most powerful weapon any this is when you have cp and everything you see this guy had cerebral palsy and he was doing brilliant albert when me and einstein and when i did einstein i saw me know so einstein had autism i saw and he was the one that did einstein was the one that did um electricity or something no 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 not electricity what did einstein do i did the research guys i researched it but i can't pinpoint it. i know he did i don't know if it was electricity or electro so only somebody can tell me who is who knows it and if you notice person used to say when einstein computers i don't remember where einstein did that though and like every time people used to pass him they used to laugh off him you know but einstein was the one remember i told you persons with autism you have super genius you have average person you have people with zero iq or low iq we don't know where aiden fall but einstein had the genius and if you notice it comes back right here seven percent have autism the whole of them tied in cerebral palsy and autism the whole of them are tied in that one i'm just teaching you something so person you see see einstein working and he's working on midnight morning light and and einstein is working and he's oh, all mad why einstein fool fooly einstein i idiot oh einstein no, no sense but guess what guys right now how much centuries later we are here about this einstein so and he was a genius and his iq was very high but people they think he's an idiot but maybe he could have fought him two plus two so maybe when we did a two plus two einstein they are um algebra or we you call the one where you do in a, in a university and you, most people can't get it that one they were technical we you call that one there most people when you touch university i get that they one. i can't remember the name when that i lick that lick yeah man if we can get it i can something them miss morse students are listening oh thank you my love <laughs> and peter gay said autism yes and miss francisco said you're a motivator thank you right i'm learning a lot my son has autism so peter gay is actually learning from this process right yes as i said everybody used to say einstein is smart and he fool fool and in this and right now to this day me I come from jamaica i mean know about einstein in my little country me ever come as a go know about einstein he does einstein so guess what it simple mean whatever he left the knowledge was imparted to the point where as centuries upon centuries upon centuries einstein is still being taught so now limit yourself people and not because you're picking your handicap or whatever and you love say handicap retard neatard jitard or heatard that doesn't necessarily mean nothing einstein everybody's calling saying fool fool but guess what einstein is still popping today all right nikki blesses something with time and gravity exactly so time and gravity yes i know it was so powerful that he used to work on it i think it was time you know you know say so right miss nikki i think it was time i think it was time because when i read it he was just doing constant research but he's like everything where i say you know like yeah i do the research but he now add up so people used to laugh off of him i like him go back in i think him box i like him probably can't sleep because anytime I think about one plan for Aiden, me can't sleep. Me tormented, me dream about the plan, everything running on my mind. Me have to get up. So maybe him then and him say, no man, but two plus two now add up. But I got three plus three and four plus four. And he sit down and he never stopped till he work out. And years later, I'm telling you, centuries later, Albert Einstein right now, see my son autism like Albert. 
Me I tell the boy Ed in the better text him as Einstein geniusism. If there's a word like that, geniusism. Like, I must say me make up that they want it, you know. Lord Jesus. Yes. So Miss Ellie says, I don't let anyone treat my son less. No man, you can't do that. You can't do that. You don't leave me. Me tell my son the other day I did the song and I sent to him, run to the arms of the one who loves you. Me leave my arm open. <laughs> Somebody will laugh about me. Geniusism. I probably all me make up that. Me Einstein's sister, you know, so me can I'm entitled to make these things up. Right. And Run to the arms of the one you love him. And when my son go there and him bully them, him come home and him get, get the comfort. Me not want him come home and me a bully him. My son make me talk nothing up. Because me not really beat him or something. Aiden Irvin, Aiden Irvin, Lord Jesus, me neighbor out of my land that's a carry sometimes here. Aiden Irvin, Lord, him make a talk till he's blue. But me not go buff buff him. Because sometimes I talk to Aiden, Aiden look at my face and I do the same thing. Aiden don't say that. And he look at my face and I say the same thing. Aiden don't say, Lord Jesus. So right now sometime and then I got a, a, a teacher when she came here she said to me mom I want you to look at Aiden as a baby you hear me I tell you me always I look for Aiden at four not functioning I know he had a lot of things going on but then she said to me look at Aiden as a baby and that, that conversation has never changed sometimes we just want somebody to show you the reality because sometimes we did not want Aiden to do some things and she looked at me and she said, Carrie, let me tell you something with Aiden. And I'll never forget that. That's why I, my in-home therapy, I love it because it's one-on-one. -on -one. And I remember she said to me, Mom, Aiden is a baby. You can't teach Aiden potty training all day. Aiden probably still wear pumper, still all in my tin. Aiden is functioning as a baby. Aiden says, blah, 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 blah. Everybody knows a newborn baby says, blah, 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 blah. Aiden has four. Every two-year-old, I want to a baby talk. Eight now four and never talk. He never said a sentence. He never said a line. He never said three words together like, come here, mommy. Me, me not even put sentence. But I'm showing you how limited his little brain is. And when she broke it down to me that day, I understood. I understood. Me just have one pretty baby with me dress up. But he's a baby. He's a baby. He have a little tricks, you know. It's like if you know you're going to slap him. In common, he goes up, nom, 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 and get ten kiss, and then he hug you, and then he rest his head for your shoulder. So he's a trickster. So he have a little tricks in there, little thing, you know. So even though the brain kind of, you know, not get it like an average person, he's still a running tricks. He know if he kiss you, he know let's say Aiden like he do something wrong, and he say Aiden Irvin, he sing what's up. He understands. So he still a work a little trick, you know. Now get me wrong, you know, fool, 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 fool. I, I mean. I'm just using that word for people, understand, say. Not limited. Even with the developmental disability and the brain damage, he's still a running tricks them. Yeah, and she said, Mom, Aiden may never get it. I don't want you to feel bad if he doesn't get it, he may never get it. And from that day, we start stressing out. If you learn, he'll learn. If you learn, if you go to school and you know, come on with no paperwork, I'm fine. And Miss John says, and not the AG is, yes. Oh, she, I guess she said something at the top first. Um, Miss Moore says, same here, so true. Um, Miss Moore says, boys. All right, the, they're coming up so late. My son is four also. Miss Ellie says, our, phone is, our son is four with autism. And he, oh, same four. Oh, yesterday we covered the topic and I did say, the boys are affected with autism. Remember I did that topic yesterday? See, Miss Moore's son is what? A boy. My child is a boy. Miss Chin is a boy. The girl with the blind twins, boys. Everybody, if you notice, all these people are boys. So my, my, my fox was right. All right. Um, I just saw a man on Facebook going through the same thing like you, Kerry. The star paper just highlighted him. So I'm going to go look it up. I'm definitely going to go. I wonder if it's the guy with the, with the, with the little baby with the cerebral palsy and he was asking for help. I think I read it last night. If that's the same one, I read it last night. And I, I felt so good a man. Because usually, the women are weathering these storms. The woman them always have to take the pressure. And I, I didn't look at it in a bad way. I was proud of him. I was happy to see a man stepping up and saying, Listen, this is my son. This is his condition. And I'm asking you for help. And the child is not a baby. It's a big boy. So he must have been doing this for years. So I was so happy. 
Okay, Miss Judy says that same. Good morning, Miss Judy. Exactly. So sometimes, and a woman alone is just that the man's. All right. Now, I'm not going to say man's because Jamaica, we have this thing about man's. Men are not being highlighted. It may, people make it look like a single mother's alone have disabled children, a single mother's alone a struggle feed pitney, single mother's alone the man run left. Enough man don't go to Jamaica a struggle with all five, six pitney. I took a taxi. I took a lift the other day. My friend came from England and I went to hang out with her for the day. And while I was driving, I was talking to this Asian. And he was so sad and so broken hearted. And I was like, what happened to you? Because me always a chat. Me chat me's a chatter. So you know we did that talk. And I said, Are you okay? And so man said, Yeah, man. My wife, you know, Asian talk. My wife run left me. My wife run left me. <laughs> Alright. Um, me not try to talk like him, people. Asian for the persons who are Asian on my page, forgive me. It wasn't supposed to be a joke, but me not try, you know. You know, let's look like somebody at about Jamaica and they say, go on your yard, man. Yard and you know. Say, you know, me I try to do the Asian talk, but me not go get it so good. And he said, my wife run left me with four children. She run left me. And I said, oh God, you know, of course, me sympathize and something. And I said, boy, I married to her and I get the four children. And like one day she just get up and she just says she can't, she can't bother no more. She want to be free. So I said, oh, how old are the kids? And he said, the oldest one is 10 and the smallest one is two. And he's like, my want to tell him, say, you want me to babysit them like, I don't know, maybe something wrong with me. But I just feel so bad. I mean, I have my picking here, look at fine. But I say, me would have a game one, two hour <clears throat> Because he said, he must be running lift. And he said, one of his friends came. I never take a number or anything in there. I was just, that's how I felt. And he said, him, his friend was staying at a hotel. And, you know, instead of the friend spending this whole heap of money to live in the hotel, he told his friend to live, stay by him for free. And just look at the four kids while he runs his, his lift because literally that's his job. You know? And him say, like the woman call. And like sometimes she calls some like she calls some more American woman. So me and say, boy, so my baby father run left me too. So other you alone the night. You know, we are talking about life. You know, me say, boy. So my son here me say, well, he's visually impaired and his father ran away too. So, you know, I had to tough it up and figure it out in a new country. So me are motivated while me are telling my side. So me are making notes, say, listen, sweetheart. I know you all and everybody have a story. Some people just pretend and put up the pretty side for Facebook, but everybody have a story. Me show the good, the bad, the indifferent. Now I'm at the good space. So me can't talk the good. I can't be positive now because me not really stress and lick me now like one time. And I remember, yeah, and I said to him, um, and he said he let the guy stay with him. So I said to him, what's going to happen when the guy finally settle in and get in place and whatever? Wait, hold on. Um, it touched me this morning when I saw it. Oh God, Miss Gibson, I saw it to my love. And he held him so close. We are talking about the baby who came on the, um, who, who, who came in the star with it. The gentleman and his cerebral palsy son. All right, Miss Mackenzie says, I have a nephew that is eight and he can't speak properly because people laugh at him. I don't know if, it's, if that is why he was, all right, I don't know if it's that he was overdue or any medical issues. So that anything is possible. Anything is possible. And of course, he can always go, you know, ask his mother, like, what was happening during child's birth and stuff. But so, once you see them doing that, because we all know it's not normal. You have all one child eight and him not talk. We know it's not normal. Listen to me, people. Me say I saw like a penny ten months, you know. Listen to me, all I got toilet, you know. You have to hide, you know. Mommy not the toilet, you know. Mommy not the toilet. Little penny, Lord God, you have to hide your face. All about your face. Remember one time, my niece did go to school, and like she go to school, and you know something in a Jamaica sometimes we can't find the toothpaste we use a little bit of soap on a brush teeth. You know we do them trick in Jamaica. And like my sister, must couldn't find the toothpaste in the morning. I must have used soap. I mean, like a sis, me like a niece, go to school, go tell the teacher, Mom, my mommy used to brush my teeth this morning. My sister said so she nearly dropped down preschool. She was going on. You know? When she reached high school and the teacher could not tell her, she said, I soap, she was brushing teeth. You can imagine? So we know. Me have a son with a four and he can't talk. In reality, we know something is wrong. You understand? We know. But we, we, I mean, how, how he got affected in terms of why he's not speaking, we don't know. And sometimes, you know, a lot of persons want to speak, but as I said, persons laugh at him. So maybe that now kind of put him back in a one little shell. A lot of persons have some little, little issues, you know, that keeps us back, you know. 
I can tell you that. A lot of, sometimes you go to school and you tell one little penis saying black and ugly. That never leave that child. Ah, when my own Judy member said the ten saying black and ugly, you know? You see the lady that was molested? You see the lady that was molested and she was speaking? And she said the things that they said to her still stands in her brain. The woman just a cry when, when she uttered the words. The things you say lives on. And the Bible tells everybody, tell us in more powerful, the things we say live on. Whether we like it or not, it lives on. Um, Alright, I'm trying to go down. Oh, Jesus. See, the, the messages are coming, but they are kind of a little delayed. My daughter is very talkative at one. So you see, Miss Ellie says her daughter is talkative at one. So let me tell you, we know. Yes, oh God, they must not laugh. Yeah, man, I just, you know, we just live in a one sinful world where everything funny for everybody. Yes, so I was telling you, no, I'm going to close off my topic. I'm going to finish the, 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 the occurring. Because we like the word, you know, me feel white today. I'm just messing around. I'm going to finish the five occurring thingy thingy. But I'm going to, yeah. And the gentleman was saying, Mom, you know, I told him to stay. I don't know how well, how long he's going to be staying because he's trying to find his own apartment. But he'll still look at the kids until he comes. So I'm telling you people, a lot of men out there are standing firm. You know what he said to me? You know, make, 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 sure, make sure you go on. I mean, if I, said, I, mean, I can't speak like Asian. You know. Make sure you go on. Make sure you go on. I keep my four kids. He said the smallest one was two. The oldest was ten. So none of them are big enough to even stay at home and look on the other two. Because I think up here, so you have to be like 14 before you can be left at home. You know, Jamaica will ever pick there six and five. Up here, so now I think they have 14 or something like that. I'm not sure, but somewhere there's so. So anybody knows the answer can always put it right there. Yes, yeah, so and none can help each other. So I said, sir, you know, you know, you have to just get a sitter and stuff. You know, I said, I, you know, I could help you, but you know, I mean, I have no place for myself and stuff. If you say, all right, mother, take them. But I would have even give them two hours out of my time and just look at them. Let me tell you something. We live in a one world where we all need each other. We all need each other. May I tell you, we cannot live selfish. We cannot live selfish. We can't tell anybody that. Selfishness doesn't pay, especially oppressor. You can't afford to be selfish in America. Else you sit down and dead in your house. You know what time you watch news and you say, oh, we only smell a foul smell. One complex of people that live on, you know? People. One complex of people that live on. One complex where we know American walls them are no concrete. And I like Jamaica, we are building sturdy concrete. We are talking about when you kick on the wall, you can't hear the pounds. We call them board eh? where they use up so. So, I usually, if you're in one apartment and you jump too much, the other one downstairs. We used to live in an apartment up in Orlando. I like if you didn't jump too much, you see somebody down on the bottom, I beat it up, beat it up, come on it up. Oh, the baby punting on the floor or whatever. So we know so the place then close. And for your neighbor, where the next door, you can bump on the door and she not hear a boom for you there. She only wait till she smell a foul smell. Oh, I smell a foul smell. Huh? There was a foul smell coming from the place. And a one building. The door them said two and three. And your neighbor could have dead stink and a run in a one place. Most of them places they have AC. And you know that it's not like, you know, when they are, me, but when me they want me not have AC, because I can't afford AC in Jamaica. So you sit down in the, you sit down in the sun now and you know, a slapped up roof in you know, so when the heat kick you know, you have all the fan and the fan here hot. So you know, so your body decompose faster in a heat. So then the people are locked up and AC a kick and at them and they're still dead and stinking out of the place of the first money knows saying dead. I was selfish where we live in. My belief is that when all women were 90, live by my building, I go be friend with her and I go knock her up. Hi Miss Joyce, all Miss Joyce is miserable and cringy. Hi Miss Joyce, how are you doing this morning? Aiden say, I ain't seeing I'm gone. If I know a couple of days, I mean, I see Miss Joyce, I mean, I hear her so, I mean, you know, TV or something, something more. Like, me, me don't know. Maybe, me, maybe I choose me come from a yard still. Maybe choose me come from a yard. Me know, me, you know, I don't make up that way there. Maybe I that. So, that's just it. So, I have a daughter. Miss Louis says, I have a daughter with cerebral palsy and she don't talk and she is 20 years Oh, Lord, that's nice. I know they said she has, she, yeah, lock up. Ah, oh, thank you, Miss. Let me read out Miss Lewis because I just covered it a while ago. I have a daughter. She has cerebral palsy and she doesn't speak. 
she is now 20 years old and they said it was because of the lack of oxygen me just tell you it's not cancer cerebral palsy me just cover it people see it here cp cerebral means of the brain palsy mean lack of control in the muscles it is a motor disability which is caused from damages to the brain before or during birth and the most common form the most common and listen to that me never say all forms come at least premature and them little things there the most common forms of cp is due to birth injuries that is caused from oxygen deprivation which means the child was deprived of oxygen which means lack of oxygen thank you miss miss gibson for miss gibson does tell me that one eh? miss lewis thank you so much for clarifying for that clarifying that for us uh, miss james says miss jones says she she rock carrie i love watching you you are so strong independent woman and you're very motivated thanks miss gibson i say the same as you carrie i love the i mean, love all people me love me can't tell anybody let me tell you something you notice anyone me got me as some old friend? Talk to it. When you ever see me with young friends? Talk it to it. When we go to Orlando, you never see me Miss Rosie. Be old people. And I mean, listen to me, me not disrespect the elders because I know a lot of persons, you know, I miss, miss, miss the point of what I'm saying. Me love old people. Me not like, me not like too much. Me love babies, the very small and the very old. Me and them, they will be friends. Me and Miss Rosie used to drive up and down in a Miss Rosie car, you know. And sometimes I, miss, I always I tell you about Miss Rosie driving. And we used to laugh about it. Remember Miss Rosie? Miss Miss Rosie. I wish she could come to my launch, my book launch. I would love for her to be there. Because she was one of my inspirations. You know, she was such a sweetheart. Alright. Let me see if any other comment. Hi, Miss Dimes. Yes, teacher, you did say that. You see, I can get 10 out of 10 for my presentations. Um, Miss Williams says, how are you? Well, you're looking lovely. Oh, thank you, my love. Oh, so now, but Missy Man, Miss Jones, so now, Miss, Miss Favor, so now give me a piece of favor out here, so. But thank you, my love. All right. Um, all right, so let me get back to the final conclusion, just in case anybody has to leave my presentation. All right, so back to the big word, the little, the little white word. I'm going to list them, and I'm done. People with CP often have co-occurring conditions, and I'm going to list them now. 50% have intellectual disabilities or intellectual impairment. Because when I like the disability word, when I like special needs, so I use impairment. When I like blind, when I like visual impairment, when I love the impairment thing in your cause, I mean, I just saw the thing still. 25% have epilepsy, and I did associate epilepsy with persons living with autism. It's common. 25% has behavior disorder. Everybody knows that, um, People with cerebral palsy have behavioral problems, just like autism. So I'm trying to show you that autism and all of them come like a one big, big sister and brother. You know them band? Them have everything in common? I swear. Okay. 20% have sleep disorder. Aiden, I don't know if Aiden has sleep disorder because Aiden, he sleep bad and he sleep all over the bed. So they told me to get him a um, uh, weight, weight blanket. People may learn some of me, yes, you see. So Aiden sleeps, he's very busy while sleeping. If you follow Aiden, he would drop off my bed 100 times. Not that he does, because he's in the corner. But he sleeps bad. Sometimes I wake up and see Aiden on my head, in the on my back, in the on my foot. I don't know how he sleeps so bad. But somebody, one of his teachers said, um, usually comes with like um, a certain behavioral thing. Like they want, you have, they have to feel um, a pressure on them. So I noticed. If Aiden sleep and him underneath me, but me can't sleep so. Me, like, me can't. Like, me have to sleep on my belly. But I would have to sleep with Aiden curdled up, curdled up in me. Or is he going to sleep on top of me? Or am I going to curl up so I have to cuddle him? So, he would sleep better because he has the, the weight. Me never know them. So the people me tell you say, knowledge is so goddamn powerful because me never know nothing like that. And I've tried it. Sleeping with Aiden underneath me like... You don't think I'm a husband cuddle him up and I realize he sleeps so much better. So the, what she advises for me to get I'm a weight jacket. So you have a weight jacket and you have a weight blanket. People may learn. And the weight blanket now, 
You weigh seven pounds. Seven pounds. And that blanket now is going to go over Aiden. And every time him turn, he's going to feel like there's pressure on him. Guys, the baby is not an easy baby to take care of. But I'm learning as I go along. And I'm interested to learn. You understand? In my wildest imagination, I would even know there's a, toy, uh, there's a blanket that weighs seven pounds. At first, me and Jose had seven pound blankets. And at the first, me and Jose, a blanket would keep, his, keep him aligned. Whereas the weight from the blanket would feel like I'm still cuddling him. So now me can sleep good, him can sleep good. So every turn him turn, seven pound over this one. Every turn him turn, seven pound I lick him this one. And if him lift up your foot, seven pound. I would have think seven pound are crushing poor little body. But it still feels warm and nice, but it's just that it's, it has a heavier weight. All right. If, if you have a child that's very busy, like super active, you know kids are hyperactive? You know artistic kids are very hyperactive, like... Them can sit down for two seconds. There's a jacket, guys. You place the jacket on him, and the jacket now conforms him to being settled. You hear me? I tell you. So no, I'm. I mean, they can, you can get them, you know. But I like to get them. For me, me like everything in my house. If you were going to my house, somebody said, "What is that big bag for?" Aid and supplies. What is that big bucket? What is that big suitcase thing? I showed you a lot of things. The last time I showed you the things I have for him. So like on the porch right there, you have like a big. You know them kind of them big. You know back in the days when people are walking them big, them big. You know that big something when people walk with back in the days. Me have equipment in you know that. Me have one big bag with activities. Me have that next big bag over there so with life skills and stuff, right? Me, me sign him up for program for get him cane. Me sign him up for he, he is go, he's supposed to get a um a detector. I sign him up for um a, a brace like it's a watch, but just in case something should happen to Aiden, I can track him by a GPS. I didn't know these things exist, guys. But you don't know me enough for extra, so me want everything. So if I go to the store and somebody grab Aiden, the watch. Suppose me going to the store and me there, they, oh my God, me see something on me, me a fast. I mean, it does usually happen. But I want to show you guys, there's a lot of things here for kids. You just have to research. Research people. Google, let me know everything. And the, the, the watch is like, all right, let me put it like this. Aiden gets lost. Aiden is 20 and he's, remember, all right. You see a child, walk, you see Aiden walking down the street. Aiden is lost. Remember. He is, um, he's not talking. Oh, let me finish this and then explain how the device works. Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry again. We're gone off track. All right. So 20% have sleep order, sleep disorder. 10% have impaired visions. So a lot of persons with cerebral palsy are usually blind and deaf. Yes. Yes. So that's why I mean, you know, so Aiden couldn't miss it. Because Aiden blind, Aiden deaf, but Aiden just... Aiden just got the medical version where he have everything wrong. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. So it's in a situation where, as, okay, he's, he has um, cerebral palsy, but he got blind through the, the whatever, the condition. No. Even though it would still be negligent, as I explained, it still comes from negligent. But Aiden got everything hit at once. So it's not like him vision did it and then he lose it and then everything, it, everything was taken. So it's not like, say, all right. The longer, because as it says, if you, you don't monitor somebody's cerebral palsy, after a while, the condition gets worse. So as I tell you about my twinky finger, my finger could have moved, now this can't bend, because from me cut it, me leave it open. Me leave it open thinking, say, you know, say, I want it to heal up and everything nice. If you notice, this finger is like this. Me never did I do no exercise, because me, me never want to touch the cut, because as I said, it was a knife. You know, me I cut the orange and it busts me on. And like it bust the vein. And it's like to it burst the vein now, me should I exercise the finger so it can function like every other fingers. This finger can't. So me have to use my hand and fold it. So this is how cerebral palsy would be. That's why I use my, my little pinky as an example. Because once the bone fuses together, that's it. So that's why I mentioned physical therapy, occupational, these things have to be done very early to help with the bones. 
or the muscles rather all right so we cover all of that um the seven per seven percent of persons with cerebral palsy they have autism or they are autistic and the five percent have impaired hearing so there you have it so them always have epilepsy they are them have epilepsy intelligent um intellectual impairment visual impairment hearing impairment sleep disorder or behavioral disorder and anybody who has kids like that will know because i can relate and cerebral palsy is mild guys so the persons who have the advanced stage they can testify to a lot of these stuff yes so as i was saying as, as i said guys my presentation is all done i hope you guys learned something on the cerebral palsy if you guys want another topic you can always put it in my inbox i'll definitely do the research and i'll come and present and i try to make the presentation as most fun so you guys not just fall asleep but you participate and you learn something all right so miss ellie says her son is very active he can't seem to get tired aiden is the same Aiden is the same. Active like wow. Yes. But you know I'm active at doing like playing with him, like educational stuff and stuff. So I'm gonna mind that. Climb, swing, active. Active. Um, Miss Moore says, Karen, you're a strong mother. God bless you. Thank you, my love. Miss Moore says, wow. And Miss Ellie says we are learning. And alright, so let me tell you about the jacket now. Alright. So the persons who have autistic kids who are super busy, because since Miss, Miss Ellis and I, we can relate about the business. What was advised for me to get is a jacket. A lot of times you get the jackets too, like the therapies. When you go to like the physical therapies and stuff, these are things that they have in their stock. But for Carrie and Ellis, who own no far five still me love of my things are my yard. So now that I know about that jacket, now I'm going to try it out and see how well it works so the jacket weighs seven pounds two guys so right so that i'm explaining the jacket so it's like a how do i put it you know like when you go to the um when you're going into the pool and you have the floaty jacket with the zip at the front but it's a floaty jacket you know that jacket everybody's aware of that one that is what it looks like but this you know the floaty light because you know say so the floaty heavy you're going to the pool you're dead but this jacket weighs seven pounds and this now is to align the, the, the child to allow him to not be so active because you know if you have weight on your shoulders you do all right how do i put it if i have um all right let me let me let me use zahara let me use zahara um yes miss med says it's a vest exactly so right so this is my little neighbor's toys but these are light all right for example this is 20 pounds 20 pounds all right i can all right so i can probably dance right here right this right here i can um probably uh, 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 boom all right boom all right so you see i'm active and i'm doing good if this is 20 pounds or this is 20 pounds and i put it on my shoulder what's going to happen uh oh all right so i put 20 pounds on my shoulder 20 pounds 20 pounds it's gonna limit my movement right guys because obviously i'm weighing more so that means i couldn't jiggle body jiggy body automatically i would be more settled because i have a whole lot of weight on my body and it's the same thing as being um oh all right let me see if i can come out of the sun hey okay, hold on guys yeah, this, this, this one doesn't like me too much. Alright, let me see if I can come out this one. So maybe you guys can see me better. Alright, so. Alright, you guys see me? Yeah. Alright, so for example, now I have. um. Right. Alright, so for example, now. Sexy mama. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yes my dad it's all finished now my presentation is all finished yes you're learning i know you're learning my neighbor learning yeah my job is done guys see it my neighbor coming to tell me too she's still seeing me listen to me people it's just all about educating all right so all right so i'm almost done guys because you know me i have to go take care of my little man things and stuff all right so i'm going to use example for somebody that's obese guys 
I'm not being rude. I'm not being disrespectful. I don't want anybody to misconstrue. Me love them words. Then I come on to understand. All right. If I am a hundred pounds and you put me in a restaurant, you put somebody that's 600 pounds to run in that race. What's going to happen? Tell me what's going to happen. They will never catch up. Well, me no, know, me never see one little. I've never seen. I, I won't even put six hundred pounds because that's that's a, that's a death right there. So let me put like probably two hundred or three hundred pounds to a eighty pound or a hundred pound. Possibility exists that even when the race is done, she can sit down, she can sip one glass of wine, and the person probably not there. If the person is really fit, then maybe they can master that. But the lighter you are, the faster you flow. And if you notice that that was one of the tricks. If you notice a lot of sports. They always wanted to maintain a certain weight. If you do ballet, these people go very small so they can flow better in the air. You notice ballerinas, they're not fat. And then tell us, oh, you have to eat this, you have to eat bush, you have to eat that, blah, blah, blah. So they maintain a certain weight for them to flow nicely. You ever wonder, oh, sometimes it's one man, I'll use all your finger and I'll fit the ballerina. Because that's how the skill works. The lighter you are, the better the flick. <laughs> all right so miss artie says automatically they are going to run leave them right so that's similar to how the brace works so the every other break the the, the 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 thing the karma my son keeps so you see guys knowledge is power i was explaining again about the blanket it's the same thing with the blankets the blankets will work because it's 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 like it's oh you know call it shouldering or cuddling or i want to find that word that smother smother is not really smothering them but it's kind of you know keeping them like if if he's all right so, yeah but sometimes if i sleep with a child i you know say if i get up the baby no so you you grab feel like when i tell the baby my stuff is underneath him and he just woke up the teddy bear and I still think i'm mommy so it's similar to that it's like it allows him to still feel that additional pressure that somebody is smothering him but as I said, it works for them because of their busyness. It's hugging them. Beautiful, that word. It's hugging them. Yes. Hugging them. Yes. A smother. Smother means they are killing picking it. So I don't know about smother. So, yes. So that's what a lot of persons don't understand. So it does work and it helps a lot. It helps a lot. So if everybody can, as I said, for the person, and this is one of the things that I do love to do for my country in Jamaica, gather as more that's why you see me i do braille and stuff if me can learn sign me i gonna learn sign too because i want to open i told everybody i'd love to run a center in jamaica whereas you come there with the kids them and me can even supply these some of these stuff people can donate these stuff you don't have to give money donate two jacket and somebody can get you have one picnic and run muddy in the house instead of you buff him down you just give him the jacket and it slows him down slows him down and automatically he'll know it will stabilize him enough to maintain that but you have to start from early. So as I said, in the physical therapy areas, you get them. For me, no one to tell my yard. So I try to do all these researches where I can get them. All right. So I was talking about Aiden's brace now. All right. So we signed up. And they're launching the project. And I wanted to be a part of the project. Of course, you know, so the mom is like, Mom, I know you want to be a part of it. And of course, you know, Mommy want to be a part of everything. So... The brace is like, it's like an Apple Watch. And, all right, people. I don't know, Apple Watch, you know, people. So I'm going to want to do things. I want to see if now when things are money run, no, I didn't get big 300 or 400 watch. No, people, nothing like that. So it's like a watch. Inside the watch, you now you'll see like Aiden Irving. My name is Aiden Irving. I live at such and such. Um, My mom's name is such and such. My telephone number is such and such. And then it has a code. I don't know what's going to be in there, but they explained a little stuff that's going to be there all right it also has a gps tracker just like it's cochlear implant i tell you if i if i go to the park and i leave aiden's cochlear at the park so once i google it i see exactly where it's at if you steal my son's cochlear i can just bloop, bloop, bloop because it is it is in a system sometimes you see them cochlear america texting mom aiden irvins da 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 so it's registered to the system nobody can you can't have a child who needs cochlear you teach my son to cochlear i use it it will never work i i when i did the the cochlear presentation i did not remember that so see it's a good thing i'm talking and what usually happens is that it goes from 
it sends a signal gps everybody know gps in a phone everything anywhere it's at once i go i have it on my phone i can operate my son's coke through my cell phone turn it up turn it on whatever through my phone you see once you or if all right if my phone is stolen guys all i can do is download the app that i sign into this app so i can use any device to sign in and i can still operate so if you steal my phone you can go out with it i still can operate it some other way so it's not just locked to the phone right so anywhere the cochlear is i can just go into the google system boom aiden irving your cochlear is that 1920 silver lane apartment tree i'm just go there with the police and say oh it's oh it's a who take my cochlear i lie we're not gonna do that but i'm just saying you know you have legal grounds to go get your stuff all right um the watch now has gps on it so for example aiden gets big and then some mom we find a girl and i wonder elope i said okay son you can elope as long as they come back with some grandbabies okay mom when in call me now you see one new number china the number they know you say okay okay that's what the thing is there okay so of course i know me i got there they got a plea and i said boy hey, and after you make me sweat so stressed so much i'm homeless and hungry and broke and poor and every okay you know that's how we mother stay you know when the pitney start do their foolishness we start dig up everything we they do like we never obligated you know that's how we turn and we're going to dig up everything we see the guy best quality best university they're going to dig up everything for you up our head now you know call me warm me little son come back so me a guilt check him now anyway boom he run when on and say mom me not tell you when me there me i live good life me i eat lobster and shrimp and me no be excitement me say okay son stay away there but as i go in my little system you know, you know, so, cloop, 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 boom because what he's still wearing it, you know, maybe he'll open and get bright and take what me sitting. But if he still wears it, maybe I'm going to tell him say I want like a gift watch. I'm going to make a choice and I'm tell him say I watch it. I feel wear it. Boom now, in their Japan now, I live life. I say, okay then, I'm going to just go up on it. Yes, me love Miss Jones, it has a tracker. Boom. When I look at my little husband, I tell him say I live good life. When I look at my little son, stress out on the street, woman all beat him up. I just go pull up on the thing, you know, come in and ask the question, you know, I just go pull, 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 punch in and check on them, boom, I find my man. Well, I look now, my man shocking can talk. And I say, hey, then, what, what kind of thing this man? And then I go say, then, you know, of course, you know, we, my dad, I go say, imagine, like, you want noise, ten bedroom house, you have porch in the garage, swimming pool at the back. So we are going to do it in the car, we're not going to start so we lie and turn in the car, we want to make them feel bad, you know. And this is where you can play. You know, so enough time the woman then pick up so little man and gone in a so little place. And the woman them, you know, it's no joking. You know, when the woman then go back for them, pity them, I go do it bad. Never say Aiden Irving, imagine. You made mommy write a book, man, and she's now a millionaire. And now this is where you're going, man. When you look, no running water, no, no, no bathing shower, no jacuzzi, no, no. This is it. This is, you know, you know, so we are going to steal. Anyway, boom, me pick him up. I go back for me little man. So it's very essential, guys. And as we say, I'm going play it out because I want it funny because I don't want to not fall asleep. Right. But a lot of persons don't understand that. Um, yes. So Aiden is nonverbal. Aiden gets lost. You see a beautiful kid. Remember, I did explain. Once you're artistic, you wander off. Boom, Aiden wander off now. Somebody see me on the street and I say, you know, Jamaican, my youth, my youth, where you do your son? Where you come from? My son, I go sit down and I go look on them. Be that boy. You know, you're a human you talk to. All right. You might go look. In can't remember, you know, he's non-verbal. In can't see any non-verbal, so I mean a problem again. Maybe he's not going to have no key in, because of course you see that he's ambulant, so he can move. Yo! You know, for, and then of course, you know, we, you know, we load and he might go call on the crowd. Now. I'm saying, like, you don't know no way more over here. So I try to question him and the boy not talk. Remember, the baby can't talk. He's non-verbal. He can't see. These are the things I have to deal with, guys. I don't have a, a non-seen a non child with a talkative mouth. He's losing, he lost both. So me now, I'm going to carry him now and I'm going to lift him at the nearest police station. 
the check-in number that is going to be in the watch or the tracker gps whatever because i mean gps will be installed and then you, that's how a tracker works right boom pull him up oh aiden irving you come from saying no say me for my trace of my own one house because me can't run up and down because they might come got a house there me not there so i'm going make sure say me own one house the next time me update the system so they know if you carry him or i leave him at some family room you know you have to just figure it out because you know when address changes a lot of complication boom but you know me i go buy one house because you know you know that's my plan getting him at home boom now him say all right mommy when the police get him now the police them are question him instead of look for the police them the police now go look now i mean they might probably just search him or whatever when they look them are go see him watch aid now aid love eat everything because there are sensor issues a topic i will cover so what i'll do is put it on his foot i'm going to put it on his foot so the watch now the police now can look into that watch and they can find anything if a pedophile steals him because you know america full of pedophiles everywhere i've been about the fear of opera is it open so quiet open so different and i don't make everybody social blood knows us run teeth him yes sir you're not even know your neighbor you can't live like your neighbor house two years then you don't know anyway you know boom then teeth him now i'm got the police you know oh, my my son he's done verbally da, 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 and i can't find him man you can't find, you know me forgot to ask white now i can't find him man i can find him i don't even know why he was man i i just got up one day my son was missing man so can you just you know just put him in the system and try to find him from our place please anything anything you know of course they know me loud and noisy so you know baby then i can understand because the patch will go kick in and me forgot to try english it up on the patch one you know be excitement to go on and him just boom and the police now will have the tracking system because they know them know to track these things so i never go to know those give them the numbers and then them put it in the system and they might go pull up aiden anywhere the pedophile have him they might go track him so i know a lot of persons will say mom you're crazy aiden is a baby but let me tell you something guys you can never be too sure because my son can't help himself if 10 seconds pass and he missing it only take two seconds to pull up his whereabouts Two seconds. Miss Janika says, Hi, Super Mommy. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Somebody wants to be had it. Sorry to have somebody. Yes. Yeah, so, as I said, guys, don't be afraid to, 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 to try to find out everything. Because, as I said, I know my son's situation is different. You understand? He is different. Hey, Sugar Mama. Hi, Miss Campbell. You understand? So don't be afraid to put yourself on, in a situation where as you know where your child is at all times. If me have to put tracker in a head of brain, me have to track him. And I don't mean it for tracking him, say, because he's going to be a rude kid and he might go to drugs and me have to fight. No. I know he's still a baby because as I said, Aiden is four, but he's still a newborn. He still wears diaper. You still have to feed him. You still have to bathe him. Still... Aiden is a newborn. But he's just a walking newborn. I don't know if it makes sense. But his mind is a newborn. So once they said, Mom, would you like to be in this system? It's going to be the first that is being launched. You know, Mommy, I got dip on top of things. I want him to be a part of this. And that's it. And then you, you as the mother will have the control. Likewise, the system that gives him. So like in case something wrong with my phone or whatever, I can just contact them and say, okay, can you track him for me or whatever. I mean, it's a bad thing for, for life. But is it because I am a single mother? I mean, I have no backbone. I mean, I have no protection. I mean, I have nobody like that. I mean, I'm alone. Anything is possible. Me can't send him to school. One day, them, I drop the school bus and then go on in my pitney. A life, we know, at the last days, we know, anything possible. Me can't just run guy police station and say, okay. Me know my son bus. Oh, school bus 21, 23, 25, 26. What's just I drop? He just run the police station and say, put in the chucker, put in the chucker, put in the chucker, fast, fast. Boom, you pick him up in a no time. The, 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 the robber, they were going to look for you like, what? Oh, they fed me so quick. I wish I had them pick their chat. I wish I had them call. Oh, who made the phone call? Who made the phone call? You know, they were going to freak out because they were going But you have to be realistic, guys. You understand? So my son's protection is ultimate. He's the only thing in this life that matters. And the only thing in the life, we, we, said, we, not, we said nothing else in the world. If me get up on all of my friends and stop talking to me, it no matter me. If me get up on my family decide to listen to me, we don't exist, it no matter me. 
It's as long as me and my son are the great, me don't want nothing else. Me don't know it's my weird, but I just need. Me, I just want to be his main provider. And I want to give him everything we need it limited to. That's it. Okay, Miss Williams, she's present. Miss Williams, I told you the last time, you know, if you come to my presentation late, you owe me $200. The Kevin man, the other man, charge everybody $200 once they come late. So it's like, oh, you late, Miss Williams, you owe me $200. I mean, I want to draw me, I can't want it in a US. But to my presentation free today, you get to it. Yes, guys, but as I said, guys, you know, do what you need to do. Um, do Learn as much as you can about your kids. I hope my presentations are meaningful. You know, and as I said, a lot of persons on my page have kids with some form of disability, but they're just too embarrassed to talk about it. Some persons have never, I didn't even know that they had kids with disabilities. And it's like, lately now I see them out there and I say, oh my God, she had a cerebral palsy child. Oh my God, she had, you know, a lot of persons shy away from, you know, just exposing their kids. I don't, I don't I'm not, I'm not afraid of exposing Aiden. Aiden is already out there, but I can use him to educate, inform. And I know anybody must have learned something. In all, I've done three or four presentations, and I know you guys learned something. I don't. It doesn't have to be a drama page. It doesn't have to be a mix-up page. It doesn't have to be something negative. I just want my page to be something medical, something where I can use my son. So you know, if you say, "Boy, am I pretty sure chat?" You know, am I pretty sure come to present? No. That's why everything I said, I said, this is what my son is living with. This is the condition. And I identify it first before I do any presentation. So nobody feel offended. Me use my son. If you guys can, can, um, can find other little things that can contribute to it, that's fine. That just like everybody who participate each week. I thank you. Okay, my love. Hi, Christina. So for the person who missed the, the, the pr presentation on autism, it's right there. Presentation on CP, it's right here. Presentation of love, it's right up there. I think they're on there. So you guys can always find the stuff that you need. Okay? So thank you, everybody. Mommy, go and get some breakfast because I, you know, the, the request was coming. So I had to do this early and I'm going to go back into my, you see my laptop? Right here. So, so the next presentation, guys, it's going to be Braille. Let's see, this is Braille. Carrie and Ellis. So the next presentation I'm going to do on Braille, but as I said, I need to get a blackboard so I can teach you guys Braille. So you guys can probably use Braille on me one day, like, hi, how are you? You can write that in Braille, it's not hard. It's very easy, it's just that like the dots, you have to remember where to point the dots. So I'm gonna teach you how to break the dots down in small portions, you'll know every, you're gonna like, what, this was Braille all along? You're gonna say, man, my knowledge is power, guys. Big up you guys, self, and thank you so much. Miss Love, oh God, you missed me nice, nice presentation, but my love, and she has a special needs son too, so she always supports. So big up yourself, guys. Take care, and please go in. You can watch it again, and you can feel free to leave any comments. You can always leave any messages on the next topic that you guys would be interested in me presenting tomorrow. So love you guys. Thank you, and peace out.